Hello everyone, I'm happy to have you all here. So let's get right into the reading, whatever the cards want to say. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so this may or may not be your story, only take it if it resonates. Got Justice, Page of Wands, Five of Swords, what is this? Eight of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Seven of Swords, Strength. Give me a minute here. Is this what I think it is? Is this person going to lie to you about... This is what I'm channeling. This person's going to lie to you about being done with a third party weird. Let me see. Because there's like a sneaky deceptive energy here and it's like they're coming in. I'm going to have to be strong and use discernment. Because they're going to tell you this, this is like five of cups is like a loss and I feel like they're going to tell you that something with the queen of pentacles is over. They're going to be like this is over. I'm done with them. Tell me more about this. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the World, it might, what is this? Give me a minute because I'm like, I'm starting to channel it like it's coming through, but I'm just, it's a, it's a strained energy. So just bear with me, guys. <laughs> I feel, I'm going to pause so I can just look at this for a minute and just feel it out. Hold on. I've been re-watching the TV series Once Upon a Time. It's one of my favorite TV series. <laughs> and sometimes that's how my spirit guides communicate with me. So this is only going to resonate, of course, if you've seen the, the series uh, once upon a time, but I'm seeing like, you know, in season one where Mary Margaret and like Snow White is, uh, you know, like they're basically like having an affair, like she's with like Prince Charming David. Um, and when he, when she does, when he does finally leave, uh, Catherine to be with her, like before they all get their memories back and everything, he doesn't really like, he leaves the door open. You guys remember that scene where it's like, he, he doesn't tell he, I don't want to say he leaves the door open, but he doesn't tell Catherine that he's, um, he doesn't tell Catherine about Mary Margaret. And I'm getting, it's like, they're showing me that scene and that will, again, it will resonate if you guys have seen that show, but it, it's like, they're showing it to me because I think it's something like that, where at first I was looking at this and I was like, I think this person like lied, but I don't, I don't think it's like that. I think, well, I think they... I think they ended things with the karmic. It could be a family member or a friend or a third party, someone that was in between you two. But I don't think they like fully ended it. Does that make sense? Like they needed to give, they didn't give that person enough closure. There's something there. We're going to look more into it, but it's like there's still an opening or I feel like maybe the third party is just not done with them. Because I was kind of thinking too, because it's like I just did that reading where I was getting, um, where I was I was picking up that basically like someone was wanting to change and they were making the changes and they were going to surprise you and show you that they've gone to counseling and they're, you know, they're, they're doing a lot behind the scenes. They want to be better for you. They really want to get their life on track and you should be really proud of them. They actually are, they are making the changes. They are, you know, they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to finally learn and grow. They're finally willing to step out of their comfort zone. And at first I was like kind of feeling like this is like a similar energy, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense because that person wouldn't lie. 
and now I'm looking at it and channeling it more and I don't I don't think it's that they're lying to you necessarily I think that they it's like they left the door open with the karmic they might have even tried to spare the karmic's feelings maybe they thought that they could subtly get out of this instead of like just it's like there's something with a third party where it's like they didn't they ended it but they didn't really end it you know what I mean I I don't get a is there a malicious is there like a, a shady intention are they trying to what's the intention here what's the intention the moon the knight of wands temperance give me a second guys I do feel like there is some desire to not completely burn the bridge with this person, but I feel like this person might also be a little bit reckless and a little bit passionate um, and maybe even like a seductress type. And so I feel like they tried to find that balance and they tried to walk away and just stand their ground. Yeah, the thing is, oh yeah, see here's the thing. This third party is going to get pissed because he or she is going to get information and find out that the reason part of the reason that they're leaving them behind is because they want to build something with you. So they're choosing you over a third party. And this might not even be romantic. I mean, this could be this could be a situation where this was like a friend or a family member that talked shit about you and was kind of just blocking them or someone that just doesn't want to see them happy, someone that doesn't want to see the, them succeed. And your person's finally recognizing this and they're you know cutting this person out this third party karmic they're letting them go but yeah i don't think that i think that's what it is i don't think they told them about you or i think i don't think they told them everything i think they might have been kind of nonchalant like the third party might have called them out and been like oh are you are you getting back with her are you getting back with him is that why you're leaving me and your person might have said something along the lines of, oh, I mean, it's, it's possible, but I'm not really thinking about that right now. I actually just want to focus on work and, and bettering myself. Like, I'm not really even thinking about love. You don't need to worry about that. But the word is going to get out to this karmic that they're with you. And the karmic, it's kind of like a warning to that there might be some incoming drama, basically. I don't think, I, I don't feel like your person is... I don't think they're like intentionally manipulative or intentionally lying to you. I just think that they, I mean, there is a little bit of a, I, I feel like it's more like a fear of this karmic though. I feel like they might, because I do feel like they're choosing you, but I almost feel like they're afraid of what the karmic's going to do. They're afraid of the third party lashing out. Um... I feel like this third party, whoever they are, they really don't like you. Even if it's a family member, this could be like a mother or a sister, brother, father, whatever. I feel like this family member knows about you and for some reason they don't think that you're good enough for their for their their relative. Um, or they see that you inspire them to make changes and they don't like that. I feel like this person's very controlling. They're very passionate, but not really in a positive way. I just feel like this person's very emotionally reckless. And so that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling, the personality traits I'm picking up here. And so it's like whoever they are, whether it's romantic or not, this person just does not like you. And so I think that I think that your person thought that they could kind of slowly, calmly move away from this person. Uh, you know, kind of just quietly leave them behind. Maybe, maybe your person is even trying to ghost them right now. Your person might be trying to ghost the karmic. Like they might just not be talking to them as much. They're not responding to their texts or their calls as much. They're telling them they're busy. I keep saying like they're busy with work. Like they're, they're kind of, they're trying to like sabotage it and get this person to end the, end the friendship or relationship on their own. Or they're at least trying to mentally prepare them for when they end it. So it's not like a huge shock. So they're kind of like, you know, telling them that they're they're busy with work or they're it's like like kind of like a ghosting energy, but like with a little bit of communication thrown in in between. Like they, they might go days without talking to them and then they and it's not it's not very that's not a good that's kind of a red flag because that's not really a sign of a mature person, just putting that out there, but that is what I'm picking up. But yeah, it's like they might go days without talking to them or they um 
you know, they just say like, oh, sorry, I've been caught up with work. I'm busy. Like they're not really very lovey with them. They're just kind of trying to sabotage it. They're trying to make excuses. Because I feel like, I don't know if they've had this conversation with the karmic yet. I just feel like, I feel like they're kind of afraid of this person. They're a little bit afraid of this person. I feel like this person is very vengeful and this person might have something over their head. Or this person might be tied to them financially. They might be afraid of financial loss if they piss this person off too much. So it's like, yeah, they're like slowly trying to... Oh, that makes sense, actually. They're, they're slowly trying to sneak away here. They're waiting for the opportune time to sneak away. They might be trying to get this Queen of Pentacles to feel like the breakup or the separation here was was her idea. You know what I mean? Like this person might just keep ghosting and, and just not making time for this person. And the, they're kind of hoping because I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is very, and it could be, a, a this female could be an earth sign like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or have that heavy in her chart. I feel like they're hoping that this earth sign will, um, or this or this per, this Queen of Pentacles earth sign or not, they're hoping that, because she's very, um, again, she's very passionate, but not in a good way. I feel like she's very controlling and she lashes out. Like she like maybe explodes on people sometimes. And so I kind of feel like he's going to try to treat her like shit more and more to the point where she kind of just explodes on him and she's like, screw this, I'm done. I'm going to be strong and I'm going to move on from this. I'm going to just take this loss. And that's when he's going to be like, okay, you're, you're like, you're right. We probably should just be done. Like he's going to try to make it seem like the breakup was her idea so that she, because he's afraid of her for some reason. She might do witchcraft. She might do black magic or something too. He might be afraid of her doing black magic on him or on the two of you. Maybe he's afraid that she's going to do separation spells on you guys. Or he's afraid. It's like there's some, yeah, there's something there that she has on him that makes him really nervous, makes him kind of like, like walking on eggshells around this Queen of Pentacles. Um, but yeah, he wants her to feel like the, the breakup was her idea. And he wants to, I think he's also trying to put his, his worst foot forward basically so that she doesn't chase him so that she doesn't like do separation spells or love spells on him or anything like that like she wants it to look like 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 he wants her to kind of see it as this was in her best interest to break up you know what I mean like there's no loss there he was like he's trying to make himself look like a piece of shit like emotionally unavailable like he works all the time he's busy he's not very interesting like he's trying to it's almost like when they have conversations he tries to like bore her a little bit like he tries not to have deep conversations or he tries to like like if there's certain things that she doesn't like like turn like things that turn her off he's kind of trying to like subtly put those things out there so that like you know so that if it, if, if she feels like the breakup is her idea she feels like oh it's not really a loss like this wasn't you know what I mean like it wasn't I'm gonna be strong and move on this wasn't for me anyway he wasn't what I thought he was um you know, whatever, I'm good. And then he can be free of her. It's like he's trying to to strategize so he can be free of this woman. So yeah, I don't, I don't think he has bad intentions. I mean, I think he is being manipulative. But honestly, the energy I'm getting from this bitch, she's crazy. So, so I feel like he kind of has to be manipulative. I don't think he's necessarily in the wrong for being manipulative. I think he has to prioritize his safety. I think he's also worried about your safety. He's also kind of worried. He's also kind of worried that she might come after you. Whether that's starting a fight, messaging you, because there's like a fight over here, you know? And that could be black magic as well, if not actually a fight. Hmm. All right, bear with me, guys. Yeah, I think I think what's going to happen, though, I don't think he's going to cover his tracks well enough, honestly. I don't think he's going to cover his tracks well enough. 
Does crocodile mean, do crocodiles mean anything to anybody? Because I keep seeing like, I never have seen that. I don't even, that doesn't look like a crocodile, but I keep, see, I keep feeling like that's a crocodile. Like he's like, I, I see like a little crocodile that he's holding. And I know, trust me, I know that does not look like a crocodile, but it's like I channeled it. And I'm like, what, what is that trying to tell? It's interesting though, because it's like coming with the nine of cups. So it's almost like he's trying to get his wish fulfillment, but there's that little baby crocodile trying to stop him. <laughs> Yeah, I think she's going to get pissed, though, because I think that she's going to find out that he's being the king of pentacles and the hierophant for you. Or you could be this man trying to sneak away, too, and this is like a warning. This bitch is crazy. Be careful how you get out of this. Uh, just take it as it resonates, whatever whatever role you're in here. But yeah, I feel like I feel like she's going to find out. She's going to find out and she's going to be pissed because she's going to be like, especially because I feel like he's not treating her very well and he's trying to ghost her and he's trying to just kind of sabotage it so that, you know, again, so that she'll think it's her idea and she'll just leave. Um, and he won't have to worry about like repercussions or black magic or anything like that. Um, I think he's also thinking that maybe he can spare her feelings that way. Um, cause I just feel like he hasn't, like she might know about you, but he's kind of downplaying it. Like he's saying like, Oh, we talk once in a while, but there's nothing going on there. Like he's like he's not he's not letting her know how he feels about you. I feel like she's going to find out though that he's being he's working on being the best version of himself. The version of himself that she wanted him to be, that she was that she cuz she got the opposite of this. So I feel like she's going to find out that he's working on being the best version of himself and committing to you. And she's going to be pissed. She's going to be like, oh, hell no. You're not, after everything, you're not giving all that to this other girl or this other man. Because it's like, he's done with her, but she's not, she's not done with him. <laughs> That's how she's seeing it. She feels entitled. She feels like she's owed something here. How is she going to find out? How, how is she going to find out about this? A water sign might tell her. A friend, yeah. Someone might tell her. Someone might tell her. I'm also feeling like she might go to a psychic or she might she might um, look into it and she might find out. But I mean, I think this man is doing the right thing getting away from her. Like even if there is drama, it's kind of just like a heads up, especially if there's witchcraft involved. It's like do protection spells on yourself. You know what I mean? Like do uncrossing and clearing and protection spells, protect yourself, be, be mindful of your environment, like be safe. Cause it's gonna, it's like kind of inevitable. If you're dealing with a crazy person like this, you're going to have to, it's, it's, you know, just, just deal with it. Just deal with it. Even if she's dramatic for a month or two, it's, it's better than being stuck with someone like this. She probably would have gotten so much worse over time. You know what I mean? Like you only saw the little tip of the iceberg. She probably would have, she's, she probably has like a whole another crazy, like sociopathic side. So get out now while it's, you know, yeah, there's drama, but honestly, if, if this man, if this man tried to reason with her and try to put it to the side and, and put it off till later, I feel like the drama would get even worse. Like it, it's inevitable. He's going to have to deal with this at some point. Might as well deal with it now before it builds up even further. Because I feel like especially down the road, she'd feel even, she already feels entitled, but she would feel even more entitled months down the road. So it's, it's good that he's backing away from this, that he's getting out of this situation. But yeah, it's just kind of a warning. And it's, it's also a warning about like to be mindful of who you talk to about certain things. Um, because if you have mutual friends, like maybe you have like a brother or a friend who's, who's might be seduced by this woman, honestly, or you have someone who's, um, like you guys all know each other. Like you have a friend group and they know this woman too. Like you guys all know each other. And maybe you have someone from that friend group that you feel like you can trust, um, and you're going to like vent to them. You're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to go be with this other woman. Uh, you know, and, and it's not that this person is manipulative. It's not that this person is like out to get you, but I feel like this queen of pentacles might manipulate them. Like maybe this person that this king of pentacles hierophant is going to vent to, like if there's like a mutual friend that he has with this queen of pentacles, 
or like a, maybe it's like maybe it's like in the family or something. This could be a family member too that he wants to cut out, and maybe he's going to another family member or someone in, someone in that social circle basically. And I don't think that that person is is intentionally going to hurt this King of Pentacles, but I think that person might be naive and they might be overly innocent. And so I feel like she's going to be able to manipulate them to get the information out of them. You know, like like let's say it's like the same um like the same friend group, they all know each other. Uh Maybe she's going to go to people and she's going to be like, oh, he's being like distant. I'm worried he's doing drugs. What's going on with him? And then this friend, this mutual friend is going to be worried about him and be like, oh, um, I, I think maybe it's the, there. He, he said something about going to date a new girl or something like like she might. She's going to find a way to manipulate this innocent person to get the information out of them and find out that he's going to go be with another girl is what I'm feeling. So, so if you're this King of Pentacles, like be careful who you're telling about this. Be careful to kind of keep things on the low a little bit. Um, and I honestly almost feel like it's, would it be better for him to just tell her straight out he doesn't want her? Hmm. I mean, almost like there might be a lot of drama, but it's almost like because I feel like one of the things that's going to piss her off is because she's being lied to like she is crazy. So you have to watch yourself. Don't get me wrong and use discernment. Don't go say to like protect yourself, especially if she does black magic. You need to like have protection in place before you even have the conversation, like have your protection spells up, have your have all that have all that in place. You know what I mean? She could even be someone that's like physically confrontational too. So really watch yourself, watch your environment, protect your energy on all levels. But I almost feel like one of the things that's going to piss her off so much is because she's lied to. She's going to feel like, like this King of Pentacles, like one upped her or he, like he tricked her or he, um, I don't know. Cause she is the jealous type. But I just feel like it's like she almost sees him as her property. She almost sees him as her property. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I just feel like it's like a source of embarrassment for her. You know what I mean? Where she's going to look at it and she's going to be like, wow, this man like was ghosting me and, and lying to me, pretending like he was just busy with work. And then he didn't even tell me that he was with this other girl. Like she's gonna be she's gonna be pissed about that. You know what I mean? Where she's gonna be upset either way if you leave her, but it's like I almost feel like it might even make it worse though because of what's going on. So it's kind of like how could you go about this? Because I don't know if there really is with someone like that that's this crazy, I don't know if there is like a safe, legit way to go about it. I just know that he does have to end things with her and he does have to do it now and he has to do it safely, that's for sure. But um I don't know if there's like, I, I'm not really feeling like there's a way to avoid drama at this point. She's too crazy and manipulative for that, you know? But I mean, embarrassing her as, as you know, le the least amount possible is, is probably in his best interest, though, I would say. Because the more embarrassed, the more she feels humiliated, it's going to be like a pride thing, like a control thing, you know, where it's going to be like her ego is bruised. And that's going to make her come at him even harder is what I'm feeling. So I don't know if there's like a way to do this without bruising her ego. I think he's trying to do, that, do it that way. He is thinking about that. But it's almost like he's going about it the wrong way because it's like she is going to find out anyway. Um, Because I also think that she needs to understand that it's not this other woman. Like, he just genuinely does not love her. He's genuinely, he just feels kind of afraid and kind of attracted by her. But I think she needs to understand that because it's like... Because it's like she might see it as like, oh, he's giving all this energy to this other woman. Like, what does she have that I don't have? And she needs to understand that it's not about the other woman. He just genuinely wants away from her. He genuinely doesn't want to be with her. 
So it's good for her to understand that, like, the, the breakup is... Like, that he doesn't want her, you know? But, like, safely. Again, safely because she's so crazy. But, like, like she needs to understand that it doesn't have anything to do with another woman. He just, he really wants to be out of this. Be careful with her. This, this, this woman, because I'm seeing, like, a, I'm almost seeing, like, a, like, I saw, like, a, someone with, like, a knife behind their back. I don't know if it's like a metaphor for backstabbing and that's not for most of you that's probably for like one person here but if you're if your person has like a they have like a um it's like a is it like a pocket knife or something I don't know what it is but it's like just it's just this person's crazy just be careful just be careful but again, you got to get away from this. This person's like potentially abusive. You have to get away now. It would get worse over time, definitely. There's there's no sweeping this under the rug, you know. Even if you need to have friends come over, like if you have some people you trust that you're like, you know, because men, men do get abused too. And maybe maybe you need to have like the cops come and, and you get your stuff out of the house. Or you have like a couple, you know, muscular friends come over and, and just... Let them know, like, have someone there for support if you if you need to, if this is the kind of person you're dealing with. But for others, I feel like it's more like black magic. Like, it might not be a physical threat for everybody. For some, it's it's more like this person might just... It's like, I'm hearing, like, astral realm spying kind of thing. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Yeah, you have to stand your ground and be logical if you want this victory. Because you will have a new beginning in love. You will have what you're seeking. But you have to... This man has to be logical and grounded. He has to be mindful, too, who he shares his success with. Who he talks to. He needs to balance things out. He needs to stand his ground, but again, in a, in a balanced way. Let's know more about this. Yeah, for some, this man is exhausted. He's like the wounded warrior where he's like, I've dealt with so much shit with women in the past. I'm so tired of the drama where he's, he's going to like be blocked and he's going to want to put the blindfold on. Don't do that. Honestly, don't do that. I get that it's stressful. I get that it sucks that you're in this situation if you're a man watching this, but you need to, you can't just put the blindfold on. It's not, you can't just unsee this. You know who she is now. You know how dark she can be. You know how how scary this woman can be. This is an abuser. You need to get out of this. Like, abusers don't... They don't... They might have, like, phases that they go through where they're in the honeymoon phase and they, they, they're... they Everything's great for a while, but honestly, this woman is going to be crazy no matter what. Even if she goes through periods where she's not as bad, it's, she's always going to inevitably come back to being, you know... And I don't usually see the Queen of Pentacles that way, but I'm channeling her this way in this context. So it's, yeah, I, I get that you're, if you're this man watching this, I get you're exhausted. I get that you've been through a lot with women, but don't put the blindfold on. She's going to get crazier. You know what I mean? She's going to get worse and worse and worse. It might be like a, it might not be like a, a upward prog progression. It might be like, okay, she's kind of being crazy. And then she, you know, it's, what is, what is that, um, that cycle they talk about with abusers where it's like they apologize and there's the honeymoon phase and then it's back to the abuse it might be like that, you know, where it's like this person's super abusive and then they're all of a sudden they're really nice because they know that they're losing you. And then you feel like there's hope like, OK, maybe 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 I can deal with this. Maybe this person's not so bad. Once they have you again, they start being controlling and dramatic and abusive. Because it's like she's very passionate, but not in a good way. So you need to be, you need to be smart. It, it doesn't matter. I get that you're tired, but that doesn't matter. It, you need to be smart. You need to get out of this. You need to think about your future here. Because she could, she could honestly get physically violent. If, if this is for you, she could get physically violent if she's not already. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to balance. You need to balance. You need to, you need to get out of this. You know, might need some help from an empress. But yeah, you, ha you have to get out. You need to just, just if you're with an abuser, you just pack your stuff and go, honestly. Just, just get away from this. Protect yourself. She's not, this person's not changing. I can, I can tell you that. She's not changing. She's not, 
even if she goes through phases where she's not so bad, she's she's going to get more and more abusive. It's going to be like a it's kind of like I see the scale kind of like this where it's like and they're like it's continuously going up though. It might go down at times, but overall, it's going to get worse and worse and worse even if it like fluctuates. You know what I mean? Um so yeah, be be smart. Please be smart. Please get out of that. Let's uh let's wrap this reading up. What else do you need to know? Be mindful who you trust. Be mindful who you trust. I keep getting. You might have someone that's like. You might have a mutual friend that like reports to her. That either is just very naive. Or they might even have the hot. Like they might be sexually attracted to her. This could be like a friend that is kind of. I'm seeing someone like chubby. Like really chubby. Like kind of um. Like, she's, like, able to kind of seduce them. So you need to be mindful who you're talking to, okay? And she might even manipulate them into thinking that she has your best interest at heart, you know? Like, she, she, you know, abusers don't often seem like abusers to most people. So so it doesn't mean this friend is out to get you necessarily. I mean, they could be manipulative, but I'm, I'm getting more of a... They're just, they're not smart. They're, for whatever reason, they're, whether it's attraction to her or it's her, you know, pretending to care about you or whatever, they're, they, someone's reporting to her. Someone's giving her information about you. Someone's telling her that you're, that you walked away from her to give an offer to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, are there any final messages here? She's going to be bitter. She's going to be really bitter. She's going to be bitter. She's going to want to play God almost. She's going to feel like... Ugh, let me see. Yeah, I just keep getting... She's going to get the information somehow. She's going to find out and she's going to be pissed. And you want to be away from her when she finds out too. Maybe this already information is already leaked. It's already out there. Maybe they haven't had this conversation yet. But, like, maybe she's digging right now. You know what I mean? Like, maybe you already left her or you're already being distant. So now she's asking, like, your friend group, your mutual friends, like, why is he being like that? Like, what – he says it's work. Is he really – is he really working all the time? Like, what's going on? Is he okay? Is he stressed out? Um, and something might slip up. Or it might be, like, maybe maybe, maybe they're – maybe this – I just feel like this friend is kind of dumb. Like, this mutual friend, I don't, I don't know if they're necessarily manipulative, but they're just stupid. They're just kind of a little, a little derpy. This, this friend that she's going to, I think that she knows this person's kind of, kind of a dum-dum and that's how she's going to get the information from them. Cause it's, it might be like one of those situations where maybe it's like, she's going to like tell this friend like, oh, he says he's been working 60 hours a week and he can't see me. Um, like she, like, I don't, I don't think he expects her to talk to their mutual friends about stuff personal like that. He doesn't see this coming. You know, so he might not have thought to give everyone a heads up, but I almost feel like maybe maybe she's going to go to this mutual friend and say, um, oh, he's telling me that he's working 60 hours a week and we can't go to the movies or we can't go on dates. Like what's, you know, what's going on? And this, this stupid derpy friend is going to be like, what do you mean he's working 60 hours a week? I just saw him yesterday. We just went out for drinks like <laughs> or we just we just went and, you know played poker together or whatever you know what I mean like 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 what do you mean he's got all the time in the world <laughs> like you know like like something something's not right and she can feel that and she's doing digging whether it's doing psychic readings on him or asking mutual friends or mutual family members whatever she's doing some digging right now and that's what both of you need to be mindful of you know that both I mean the the if you're the man in this situation you need, you need, you need to be mindful of it but also if you're the person that um, that's being chosen over the third party, you need to be mindful too because she might, she's going to find out about you somehow is what I'm feeling, you know? And it could even just be intuition. She might even just be like, 
maybe he's not a very good liar. Maybe she asked if it was over with you and he was like, oh, like probably, I don't know, maybe, you know, like he wasn't, he wasn't, um, <laughs> some, there's something, there's like a flaw in the, in the converse, there's something, not a flaw in the conversation, there's, um, she's just, she's just doing digging. I just keep getting, she's doing some digging. Something feels off. Her intuition is telling her something's going on. So she's trying to get to the bottom of it. And both of you guys want to be far away from her when she does get to the bottom of it because it's going to be a lot of drama. She's going to come not just at him but at this woman that he's dating to or that he's about to make a proposal to. Um, and they need to they need to have each other's backs. I feel like they can get past this, but they need to have each other's backs, you know? And they can get past this, this psychotic woman. But... Um, but yeah, they both need to, to communicate and protect themselves from her. Eventually, I feel like this kind of person likes drama. So if she's not getting drama, she's going to get bored. Um, if she can't find you, also be careful putting your ad, like don't put your address out there. Don't put your information out there. Some of you just need to kind of start over and just just start start new with this this person that you're in love with. And just get get far away from her. Get a restraining order if you have to. But anyway, I hope that helps someone. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for watching.